The Cotonou Colors Jazz Concert is an outdoors event and on stage. The artists of this third edition prove that it is able to take over this growing genre of music. For the third consecutive year, the Cotonou Colors Jazz Festival kept its promise, featuring artists from across Europe, America and Africa. Some 15 artists and groups graced this year's show. According to John Akadius, the organizer of this event, young but hugely talented 40 from Benin is the upcoming jazz musician to watch. I had noticed something really nice in this girl. She's talented and deserves to be helped. For me, she's truly this year's revelation. But it was legendary Congolese star Lokua Kanza who whipped the audience into a frenzy when he played some of his hit songs. When you consider things, violence in the world, we need to talk about it, sing about it, shout about it, so it goes down. Let's not talk about making it disappear, although I'm longing for this to happen, but it would be unrealistic. At least, let's try to make it fit a bit. A special feature in this edition of the festival was a focus on the development of traditional African music and its incorporation into jazz. For Nobeke, a Beninese singer who plays the Zinli, there is still plenty of opportunity for further incorporation of traditional instruments into the jazz genre. I think that jazz and my Zinli Bete make a good combination to play nice things. Swiss music band Swedi featured at this year's event, much to the delight of their fans. This annual festival is fast becoming a venue for West African jazz musicians to showcase their talents and help launch their careers in an atmosphere of mutual respect and international collaboration. Wazir Hamsim, CCTV.